What's up guys, Matt here, hope you're doing well. I wanted to share a story with you real fast because sometimes I think we need to just sit back and have this reminder of what a powerful, mighty God we serve. I heard that Carrie Job song, Healer, and it, it, it you know, we, and I believe you're my healer, you're more than enough for me, all these things. Maybe you guys out there like me, often I can put limitations on God, and I look at God almost as man if i can't do it well god can't either and you forget who you're dealing with the creator of this entire world and i want to share a story that really really speaks to me and hit home and gives you a visual uh, my first cousin great lady great woman of god uh, becky had a son named uh, ethan and this is a few years ago i think he's maybe eight or nine years old he had this rare, very rare disease that started getting in his body. And um, he was actually featured on that show. I don't know if you've ever seen it, Monsters Inside Me. But it was just eating through him. And it, it got so bad that they were worried it was going to attack his whole body and kill him. That literally, that the doctor went in to do an operation to have both of his legs amputated because they were worried he was going to come up from his legs and get worse. So the, they did all had all these experts look at it, and it got so bad, they were going in to have both legs, not one, not feet, both legs completely amputated because they said that's the only way that he can, he can have a chance of surviving this crazy rare disease. So here you have this young man, great Christian family, very strong in their faith. And they're praying so hard, God, you've got to intervene. There's nothing the doctors can do. They haven't seen anything like this. This one doctor from, I forget where he was from, diagnosed it with something but said the only option is to amputate his leg unless God intervenes. We have to take off both his legs. Otherwise, it can, it can totally kill this young man. This family gets to praying, has everybody they know praying, their church praying. And then I want to show you this video. Ethan is now 14 years old, and this is Ethan right here. I want you to see. This is him. She posted this on Facebook. That's Ethan. And I thought, wow, what, what a visual that is. You have a guy, a, a young man who is seconds, oh, minutes away from having both his legs amputated. A family gets together and cries out to God and says, God, I know you're bigger. I know you're greater. I know I, I read in the New Testament. I've seen it in other people's lives. You're the ultimate healer. I need you to do something. And God reaches down and stops them from taking off his legs, removes that disease, which is, the doctor says is a flat-out miracle. And fast forward, he is 14, 14 years old, a phenomenal athlete, and goes and dunks a basketball. Those same two legs are supposed to be taken off. And he's jumping up and dunking a basketball in a game at 14 years old. What a mighty God we serve. Guys, it's Easter weekend. And, and it, we often can have our doubts, we can have our disagreements, we can have things in the Bible we don't understand, but never under, underestimate the power in the name of Jesus. Whatever you're going through, guys, be encouraged, kneel down, pray, have others praying for you, and know we serve a mighty God that nothing is too great. Greater is he that is in me than he is in this world. The same spirit that rose Jesus from the grave lives inside you and me if you've asked Jesus into your heart. Let that be an encouragement. Ethan was supposed to have no legs, maybe not even have a life because of this crazy disease. God intervenes like only God can. Now he's dunking a basketball. What a mighty God we serve. I had to share that with you guys. I love stories like that because I get caught up in, like I said, putting God in a box of my abilities and my accomplishments or somebody I know or some expert when God is so much greater than that. So much greater. Man, I had to, I had to share this story. Hope you guys have a great day. God bless you.